Summertime is my favorite for food because I get to try out all the recipes that I've been wanting to all year. They're really focused on like a complex flavor profile and my family just doesn't eat like that. And so there are things that I like to enjoy and eat for myself. Um, and I'm not gonna go to the store and buy in a bunch of ingredients for me to make like one meal. And so this is my favorite time. And today we're going to make a roasted radish and arugula salad. Now I haven't been able to harvest a ton from our garden yet this year because we got really late start, but I have harvested radishes. And now I grow the French breakfast radish and they're a little bit of a longer radish. I'll show you in just a moment. I have some behind me in a bag that I had already harvested for the year. Um, and I have arugula in my green stock. And those two combined are super delicious. We're gonna add just a few other things and it's a really simple, easy salad that brings that fresh brightness to you know your summer palette. So I'm gonna start with an onion. I'm gonna slice this up behind me here. I'm gonna slice this up and I'm just going to saute it in a pan. Oh my gosh, that is so dull. Look at that. <laughs> That's right. We're just going to use a little bit of this because I'm making this just for myself. I'm not going to need a ton, but I just want, I love, there's something special about cooked onions. I absolutely love cooked onions. My pan is already scorching hot because I was just making some steak for my husband. And I love steak too, and I'm gonna eat some of that too. So once I get these just sliced up, I'll toss them in the pan with a little bit of olive oil. All right, so I already have a bunch of fat in here from the meat that I was just cooking, but I'm just gonna add a little bit of olive oil. That's probably like a teaspoon. Really, honestly, I don't need much because I already have some fat in there. And we're just gonna get these sauteed. That one's some bigger chunks, but that's okay. Separate that up. Get those going. Okay, so while we get those sauteed up, here are the breakfast radishes. So I have two bags of them here. And I'm just going to, this one I already took off the tails and the greens up on top. So these ones I just need to remove the tails. But we're just going to put them whole on a baking sheet. We're going to roast them at 400 degrees just until they're like fork tender. We don't want to overdo them, but we want a little bit of color and we want them to be nice and soft. Not mushy, just fork tender. I'm gonna roast all of these. We don't need all of these, but I just love them roasted by themselves. And so I know they will get eaten if I roast them up. Now roasting radishes is something that I actually never thought about doing. And it's something that last summer, I don't even remember who recommended it. It might've been my friend Lisa over at Yogi Hollow Farm. I think she recommended it. And I was like, no way, I need to try that. And so, I did, and they are seriously amazing because it takes that bite. So usually radishes have a bit of a like spicy bite to them. And when you roast them, it removes that like bite and it makes them sweet. And they are just, they're so good. They have like a little bit of earthiness, not like a beet earthiness, but just, I don't know. It's like a sweet earthy, I don't even know how to describe it. They're just delicious. And I highly recommend eating them this way. Even if you're not making the salad, just roast your beets. You'd be surprised. All right, so I'm just going to finish removing all these little tails. And we'll get these tossed in just a little bit of olive oil. And I'm just going to put a little bit of salt and pepper on them too. We'll keep the seasoning super simple. And drizzle it over and then... And then I like to get my hands in there and just make sure that they all, oops, I lost one on the ground. <laughs> and just make sure that they're all coated. I don't know what it is, but when I watch a cooking show and not every piece of vegetable or whatever has the olive oil on it, it drives me crazy. So I'm like, why are you pouring it on like three pieces? How about we get it on all of them? My dog is legit eating a radish. Okay. Now, before I forget, as I'm going to put salt and pepper on these radishes here in just a moment, I wanted to share that this is part of a garden to table collaboration. And this is posted by Chrissy at Nine Little Aussies. It is her 100th video celebration. And she thought it was a great idea to get some collaborators together, some other creators together and make a great inspiration recipe list for people who may have their own gardens and are looking for things to do with their harvest. So definitely check that out below. I will leave the link for you. All right, let's check on our onions real quick. I'm just gonna give these a little bit of a stir. 
We have some really nice color on those. I love color on roasted or sauteed vegetables. Color is flavor to me. So these are smelling amazing. I wish you could smell them right now. But we're just gonna, I think I'm gonna take the heat off now. And these are done. I want them to still be tender. I don't want them soggy. Just want a little bit of color on them. So now we're gonna pop our radishes right into that 400 degree oven. It is preheated, hot, and ready to go. Okay, so our radishes are in. And I'm stepping on a radish. The little piece that my dog didn't finish eating. <laughs> we have our onions. So our radishes are cooking. Our onions are already, they got the color on them. Next, we're gonna make our dressing. Now this dressing is super light and simple. It's just a combination of a little bit of like a mustard of some sort, like a Dijon or even like a spicy brown mustard works. Um, you just want a little bit of sweetness to it. So if you're not using, actually, you know what? We're just gonna add a little honey regardless of what mustard you're using. Add a little bit of honey. That's gonna be just a little bit of sweetness. And then we're gonna add in some lemon juice. So it's gonna be the mustard, the lemon juice, and a little bit of honey and then salt and pepper to taste if you'd like. It's just a really nice light dressing and it just that acidity in the lemon really highlights everything and just complements the roasted vegetables really well. Okay so here's our honey. We're going to use horseradish mustard because that's what I have on hand today but honey mustard is great. You could also use just like I said like a Dijon or whatever you have. Um, yellow mustard probably not just a plain yellow mustard might not be the right flavor. You could definitely try it, um, but it's going to be a little more of like the fancier mustards. And then our lemon. Still got our onion just chilling over here. We're just going to, we're going to let him hang out. All right. We are going to roll our lemon on the counter and push it down as you roll it. This is going to help release the juices from your lemon and to make it much juicier on the inside. Some people put it in the microwave to do that, I don't have a microwave, <laughs> um, and rolling it on the counter is just fine. So it's nice and soft now. So actually, you know what? Before we cut it, let's get a little zest from this. We're gonna put a little zest in there too. I'm just gonna make this in a mason jar. So we're just gonna take a little bit of the zest. Don't get the white pith in there, just get the outer, just the really yellow outer layer. And you don't need a ton because this stuff can be pretty strong. You just want a little bit of that lemon, that lemon flavor in there. We should say extra lemon flavor. Obviously we're gonna put lemon juice in there. You're gonna have lemon flavor, but just a little bit of the, a little bit of the zest. Okay, now we're going to juice our lemon. All right, so now we're just gonna juice our lemon uh, you can just squeeze it into your hand and catch the seeds if you'd like. I have this handy dandy contraption that I absolutely love. And we're going to juice this whole lemon. So get as much juice as you can out of it. All right, we got our whole lemon juice there. Now here is where you can customize this according to your flavor and your taste buds. So I am not great at measuring things, especially when it comes to like dressings and marinades and that kind of stuff, because you can, you can just do so much with it. So I just estimate a little bit here and I'm just putting in, oops, well, I probably should shake that. Huh? I'm just going to put in like a tablespoon at a time of this. Same with the honey. Might take a second to get it down there. Oh my gosh, my patience. I don't have much patience for things like this. The, t the tedious nature of things like this sometimes. All right, so that's about a table, or probably about a teaspoon, maybe a little more. We're gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. Just like seriously, like a tiny bit. And then a little bit of pepper. And then we're just gonna shake it together. Put your lid on and we're gonna shake it up. And you can always change it up, customize it. If you wanna add a little bit of fat in here, you can add a little bit of olive oil or whatever other oil you wanna use. 
There we go. We have a nice dressing. I'm going to taste it and just make sure it doesn't need anything else. Oh, that's really good. That is really lemony, which is going to be a great combination with the other things we're putting in the salad. Okay, so we're going to run really quick out to the green stock and we're just going to grab our arugula. So because I'm making this just for me, I don't need a ton of arugula, just a little bit. So I have some down here. These ones are trying to go to seed. They're a little large. I'm not going to, I don't want the flavor of those ones as much. They're, they get a little bitter when they're big. I'm going to go for these smaller ones up here. And I have things coming in right now in the green stock. I have some little tiny baby arugula here. This all reseeded itself. And so I didn't plant any of these, but it's such a fun little surprise. So these ones are going to be probably the best flavor because they're tiny and they're going to be sweet and have that little bit of like a little bit of bite that arugula has. Okay, so I just put the arugula that I brought in. I just put it in my bowl. I grow organically, so this is already clean. I'm not going to bother washing it. I don't like how wet lettuce gets when you wash it. So if I don't have to wash it, I don't. <laughs> That's just the truth of it. All right, so our radishes are done. And we're going to toss some of those delicious, beautiful radishes on our arugula there. Then we're going to put our onions. Oh, I've already been snacking on these because I have a thing for roasted onions. Yum. And then, oh, careful. And then we're going to top it with a little drizzle of that dressing we made. There we go. Okay, so now's the time for truth. We're going to test it. Hang on one second. No, girls. It's okay. Hey, hey, hey. Just, just, okay. Ask if you hungry. Okay. 